Welcome back to my channel. My name is Susie and this no, is no, 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 Steve no. <laughs> My name is Susie. No, I gave it to you that time. I thought you're the guest and you deserved it. We don't talk about that. In fact, those videos should be private by now. <laughs> I actually don't know what videos they're on. Anyways, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Hello. We are here today with another movie Sweet. reaction. <laughs> Look how we used to do that, it's hilarious. It's disgusting, actually. What was I thinking? I have no idea. I have no idea either. For those of you that are new here, hi, welcome. My intro... <clears throat> go on, you've got to do it. You need to kind of like... So I'll do it. Okay, go. so my intro used to be, What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Susie. And I don't know why. <laughs> Even like you even got the like the intonation of oh, welcome yeah. back to the channel. Because you have to go up a little bit and then you go <laughs> <laughs> And to this day, I don't know who I thought I was and why I thought that was a good idea. But day and that one was for you. So it was it was endearing. It was cheesy. It was endearing. Was, I grew my channel. That. What like, do you the, guys think? The, Comments in the comment the, thing. <laughs> the channel grew, so you know what? I've got a little dinosaur on the top. Yeah, I'd be careful. I need to like censor that, you know. Getting that out there. Don't look at my, my nipples. I'm showing you my dinosaur. We are here with the brand new movie from Netflix, The Imaginary. Now, this has the lead producer, ex-lead producer. Studio Jibblers? Yeah. We just read it. Something like that. For this exact segment right here, and we're, we're kind of fumbling. I don't really care. Uh, former lead film producer of Studio Jibblers. So we were in Venice, mm -hmm. and I was on my phone, I was on my Google, and it was like, movie coming in July that you do not want to miss. And well, here we are. We're not missing it. We aren't missing it. That's we're not correct. missing it. We actually went to the cinema the other night. We did. And we seen A Quiet, a Quiet Place, Place Part 3. Two. Two, three, three, three whatever. <laughs> day one, a quiet yes. place, day one. We're not going to spoil it. But didn't actually realise how awkward it would be going to the cinema to watch A Quiet Place. Yeah, I can imagine, you're like, right? You're like that way, you're popular. Okay, so I had nachos because you have to. They're not good. Why don't get nachos in the cinema? Anyway, I had nachos and I had quite a few of them. Not only are nachos loud, Doritos, right? But the tray... See if oh, you yeah, can like, for one, that you're too, like... Yeah. Oh, it's plastic tray. And it was like, any time there was action, I was like, yeah, let's go for it. But then it would stop suddenly, so I'd be like... And then you, <laughs> you burst out laughing at me because you were like, you're holding on to it. Yeah, that. she was like, she almost ate one, and then she was like, no. <laughs> I was I, like, you know can. what? Right. Cinema snacks in the UK are pretty crap, let's be honest. Like yeah, the popcorn, the pop right. popcorn's all right, because like, cinema popcorn. Um, oh, actually, uh, as an aside, you know what my family had one of the first cinemas in the UK? Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, You're thank welcome. you, thank you. Um, yeah, sorry, so uh, cinema snacks in the UK are crap, right? You get like basic like bags of, of, of candy that you, candy. Get, you get in the shop anyway. Um, the pop Cheaper in the shop. The popcorn's all right, but it's not even hot. Which is a weird thing. They, where I come from, it was always hot. Yeah, that's a kid. And putting your like, hot. hand in hot popcorn was the whole reason that we went, um... Well, it was why you went to the cinema, because you got hot popcorn. Because yeah. as it stands, you're probably better off getting like a packet of popcorn from the shop. Yeah, and just anyway. like sneaking it in. And then the sodas are like big freaking sodas, like you always get at the cinema. Um, but other than that, like it's pretty crap. Like hot dogs, crap. Nachos, like say crap. They didn't um, even have tangy cheese. I had to have salted Doritos, and I was like trying not to cough because it was a quiet place, and I was like. <laughs> but what was okay? So where I was going with this is, I want to go to the cinema in the states. So when we go to the states, we're going to the cinema right? just for the fact that I want to get cinema snacks in the states because I can imagine they're just insane. So yeah, we went to the cinema, and uh, it was weird. Now, I'm a big fan of A Quiet Place 1 and 2, so uh, not that I thought anyone would spoil it or that, I just wanted to see it. 
But yeah. Well, we haven't been for date night in ages. So. No, we haven't actually been to the cinema in a year since I got my braces. And I, I was like, oh, it's kind of weird, you know, going in the cinema, having to take your teeth out, whatever. And yeah, basically it was just, well, you know, the other thing about a quiet place. See, anytime someone coughed, I'm like, they're dead. Like in my head. <laughs> I was just like, the, the girl next to me had like a wee cough at one point, And I was like, shut up. She had a wee cough. Gonna... What she do? Ha, 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 ha. If you want to watch this unedited, you can head on over to my website, suzylou.co.uk. You have to become a VIP or, no, you know what? Just go to the website. That's where I want you to be. I want you to be on the website. Also, you get to become a member of the Discord, which is where all the action happens. Come to my Discord because I want to talk to you. Oh, it gets, it gets lonely really sometimes. Oh. I like, here's the thing. I miss having a community because people just kind of go like, good video, or they just go like, this is what I thought about the movie. And no one cares about me. I miss people. I care about you. Thank it's you. It's okay. Yeah. Well, got, got, I do got to admit though, the community around reactions is totally different to it's gaming. It's not really there, is it? Yeah, totally different to gaming. Well, at least we have each other. Yeah, give me some, I want, I want your parasocial relationship. Yeah, give yeah. me some love. <laughs> right, I'm excited for this. Let's go. What's it about? Nobody knows. Join in, so I'm going to talk about parasocial relationships. Oh, God. Da -dum. Da -dum. Did you know that uh, there was research that came out, psychological institute research, that said parasocial relationships are actually good for the people engaging in them? Psychologically, it really helps people with the full, like, um, feeling like they're communicating with another human, even if they're not. Oh. Yeah, it's actually always, really good for you. I See, heard they're parasocial, quite toxic. Yeah, parasocial relationships actually good for you. A flower not ever seen. A breeze not ever seen. A night not it's ever seen. Have you ever seen anything so wonderful? No, because I missed the Aurora Borealis because I didn't know about it. Oh, this reminds me of playing Nino Kuni. Like, this is the cutscene happening. Nino Kuni, also done My by name Studio Jibble. Roger. I'm three months, three weeks, and three days old. He's a baby. Has He's he a baby. Like How do you know English, Roger? Huh? Or Japanese, depending on what audio track you're listening to. I was born here. In a world oh, imagined by Amanda. See? Da! He's not a baby. Oh, I want to go live there. It's got dinosaurs! And flying things. And dragons. And naked children? Well, I mean, he's three months and three something. So to him, he's probably surprised why even he's wearing clothes. But no, George is imaginary. George is only three months old because he's he was only imagined three he's months old. He's called ago. Roger. Amanda always <laughs> imagines the most splendid worlds. Whatever. George Rogers in person. That's the hardworking giant. Good for you, A giant. Chatty squirrel. That's me. And the ocean whale. Who That's are you? you? I'm the ocean. <laughs> Sometimes she imagines really scary stuff too. That's Winnie. Winnie's hungry. This is Amanda. Amanda imagined me, and that's how I was born. Oh no, he's imaginary! I thought this was like, I don't know, he's a real boy. What? <laughs> he says he got a mansion! I know, but before you that, him. <laughs> I thought that, well that makes me worry that he'll disappear though. We watched a movie about imaginary friends, but it was not like this, it, it was, was a horror. Creepy. <laughs> Was that not Imagine, I think it was called? Yeah. Kids' imaginations are the cutest. Sometimes, depending on what movie. Amanda and I made a promise. Whatever happens, never disappear. Protect each other. And never cry. Well, I don't know if I can do that one, I'm sorry. Never cry. Oh, bumbling. What about you? Do you have a secret friend like me that no one can see? No. I had an imaginary friend when I was a child, though. We used to be kids. I I Call us imaginaries. 
I'm feeling emotional. Uh oh. I know. <laughs> I'm getting a vibe from the movie and I'm like, oh no. Oh no. I Look at like the computer is screen, it's so cute. <laughs> oh. Oh, I should do that to my monitor. Turn it into like a, a little friendly thing. I feel like you should just take googly eyes where you stick on googly eyes wherever you go. No! I said googly, not google, twat. A promise, Rainbow. A promise? What are you talking about? They say if you see a rainbow after it's been raining, it's there to remind you of an important promise. Julia! Okay, well we have a lot of promises then because all it does is rain in Scotland. Yeah. You know how my dad is always forgetting things, right? Well, the other day, the first thing he said was, What's up today? I know there's something important today. Oh, of course, it's your ballet recital. But no, Amanda, it was my actual birthday. Aww, Aww. you failed as a dad. I don't know any parent that would forget their child's birthday. No, no. Actually. Uh, John, sit over there. <laughs> Before you say anything, you're welcome. What do you mean you're welcome? I shouldn't have been there. I was gonna say, that's a bit rude. I know. Your umbrella, have this seat. Let's do it. Oh. Now what are we doing? Umbrella oh, Wars! Have you never played Umbrella Wars? No. When I was a kid, you just got wet. It's Scotland. Umbrellas don't exist here. You put an umbrella up and it's gone. <laughs> okay, are you a bit of a dirty old man? You sniff in a school say. bus? What? That scene can be interpreted in many ways. <laughs> interpreted? <laughs> As usual, local bookshops closing down. Goldie, they've approved my application. They've asked me to come in for an interview. Congrats. Here's to a brand new chapter in your life. Oh, it's just an interview. Remember, you're the renowned owner of the Shuffle Up bookshop. You'll be fine. I hope so. I was going to say, I wonder if that's Amanda's mum no, no, no. and they're losing the bookshop. Can I ask you a favour? Watch Amanda? Of course. Just leave it to me. Oh, you're the best. I can't imagine how hard that would be to be running your own shop and then having to go back to like... A regular work. A regular job, yeah. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Houston, can you hear me? It's going to be so strange because he's not actually there. Mm -hmm. Do you know? And I have to remember that. School because you insisted. No. Oh. Hey, yo, everyone. My name is Roger. What does this mean our date? So it's not Roger, it's Roger. She's in a real pinch. You know that she's all on her own raising Amanda. So where is the daddy? I think he's gone. Uh oh. Tell me it's not the one with the attacking old leech lady. That one was missing something. It really was, and I didn't enjoy being in the pot with the sausages. It was far too hot in there. Oh, now it's going to be very cold. Even if it's only your imagination. I get it. You don't want to be the bra. Fine. I understand. Oh, oh, good. Okay. Just growing like that. Who needs Santa? Roger, it's time for the sacred attic vow. Never disappear, protect each other, and never cry. Never cry. Why never cry? Yeah, it's a weird one. Maybe it's like after dad left, I'll never cry again. Mm. Let's go, it's like a bit more symbolic than we realize. Wait, yeah. Hold on. Stop. Oh, no, it's got a wigs. Uh-oh. What's up with the name Bessie? It's a cow, isn't it? Huh? She's a musk ox. You have no imagination. I bet it could have been a cow. Okay, so then what would Princess Amanda name her? Jimmy. Green Lager? Isn't that Mum's beer? Green Lager? That's not what she said. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda? It's so funny. It's like she's in this magical world, but she's actually in a box like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome to children. Also, welcome to children. And dogs. And Susie's. I pick up after you. 
But the other day, you closed the door when you left. And I was trapped in the wardrobe for two hours. So what? No. Raja, think of it as your own room. Isn't Aurora like what her friend was talking about? Mm hmm But sometimes I want to play with other kids too. Well, they can't see me, so I can't actually play with them. Still, it is fun watching them play. Ow! Ah! <laughs> That's what you get. Cool. Talk about cheating on me. There you go, look, other kids. Oh, and and heavy things. You can't play with other kids anyway. They didn't imagine you. She did. It's a Christmas tree. And you said, who needs Santa? This movie would have been perfect for our Christmas, Christmas movies. Oh! It's weird watching something Christmassy in July. What's not really Christmassy, it's just her imagination. Maybe Christmas is just your imagination. Just imagine this thing to disappear! Oh, Roger's gonna be a decoration. I thought it was gonna be the fairy. Miss oh. Amanda, shuffle up. Shuffle up? Hello, Mum. <laughs> I asked, what is that? That's a tape player? Or oh, that? Oh. Uh oh. That's not very polite, Mum. It's not what, it's who. Huh? Uh oh. Amanda, how many times do I have to tell you to put the umbrella in the umbrella stand downstairs? And why would you take the umbrella upstairs? Though? They're all soaking wet. Maybe. And also, why does she have an exercise machine? That's probably her mom, so she's probably just messing with it. But it looks the perfect size for her. When are you ever going to learn? Mum, I do all my learning at school. I think you know that's not what I mean. Oh, someone knows how to answer back. She's a bit sassy. Mum, you're making the floor wet. Oh, Mum, you're making a mess. How dare you, Mum? <clears throat> oh, oh, look. Make two of them there. Mm. Don't forget Rogers. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if her mum knew about Roger. A survey? A survey about what? It is a survey about our world, and it's about children and how they behave these days. This is the guy that sniffed the bus. It's a creep. <laughs> Identification. Yes, something that says who you are. I am Bunting, Mr. Bunting. Oh my oh. God, and she is terrifying. The corn Bunting, you can see it around here. It's a rather cute bird, don't you know? Hmm. Stop what sniffing. is with this guy? He's so creepy! Stop sniffing at children, you creepazoid. He's sniffing out the imaginary. Mm. Would you like to leave that survey with me? Uh, no, no, there is no need. The survey is done. Excuse mm. me? What? Yes. Also, you have to pay for that. And by the way, this bookshop smells very nice indeed. I don't like this man. No. Or his creepy whatever she was. That was so weird. A survey on children. And that girl was weird too. What girl? I knew it! I was gonna say she's not there. Roger, are you thinking what I'm thinking? That I'm not the only invisible friend here. But why was she visible? Why was she a visible invisible friend, hmm? But did he imagine her? Or did Amanda imagine her? Let me get through the mm. interview first. I know, I know. I'm just dressing. hoping will not rain bread from the sky. That is a fat cat. Oh, she's fine. Oh, I love she's those. Fine. Oh, yeah. I had one of those. Uh, not Roger. It's Roger. R U D G E R. I guess that's the extent of her new friends lately. I don't touch it, back kitty. <laughs> Only Amanda can see him. A completely made up friend. He's completely made up. Can you believe it? Leave him alone. Amanda says she can see him. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lizzie. You've just got me thinking about the past. The past? You don't remember? Ah, she had her own. Ah, that's right. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Yes, dear. You called him Fridge. <laughs> 
You told me that Fridge saved you from a nasty snake. You two were inseparable always together. I think it was a dog. Aww. Fridge caused a lot of trouble. Mom! Oven's doing it oh. again! <laughs> Wait, is that cat called Oven? Yeah. She had a dog called Refrigerator and yeah. she's... Yeah. She has a cat called Oven. What if that creepy man is also imaginary? imaginary. And what if it's her imaginary? What if it's Refrigerator? Ooh. Thanks, Goldie! Good luck with the interview! See, she gets <clears> it. <throat> she doesn't bother with an umbrella. I shall hide under the counter. And Mr. Roger, you shall hide over there. Sergeant Major. I am quite confident she shall not find me. Mr. Roger, <laughs> we both have to hide. Roger that. Nah. Here I come. No, not yet. <laughs> oh, oh, I like this. I like how everything changes. Yeah. It's nice that a kid can see things like that. <laughs> oh, is that like the good old days? Yeah. Ugh. Oh. Hurry up. She's going to find you. All right then. I'll be hiding just over there. Uh, yeah. Come on, Mandy, you gotta hide. Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh. What a good idea to turn out the lights, Sergeant Major. That's not me. I didn't do that. Uh oh. <gasps> oh oh no. no! Go away, creepy lady. Where's Roger? Oh, she's so creepy! Don't let her take Roger. He was too high, she couldn't get her. Him. Found you, Princess Amanda. Hey, everything's fine. No, it's not. It Roger! Creepy lady took Roger. <clears throat> but why? Having to get the wiring fixed would have been a pain. But then again, this place is old. Who is there? She was there! The long-haired girl who visited earlier with her really scary face. She grabbed Roger and tried to take him away. I feel like as a mum, you'd be like, um, I think it's time for bed now. <laughs> Everything is okay. No, it's not just in my head. She really was here. Amanda, To capture your imaginary friend. She'll be all right. But mum. It's so horrible, you know what I mean? It's like, mum, you've got to believe me. See you later, Princess Amanda. Mom, please believe me, it's all true. That girl oh. and Roger. <sighs> Amanda, please. There is no such kid. Well, Roger's real. It's not what you're saying, is it? <laughs> it was a really tough day today. The interview didn't go well. Oh. If Dad was here. <gasps> I know you're right. If Dad was here, he would have aced it. No, Mom. Dad would have believed me. <gasps> About your imaginary friend getting kidnapped by an imaginary kid. That's so harsh. It's always where they go to as well though, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, Dad would have believed you. You are absolutely right. And if he were here, we wouldn't have to close Shut the Shut up! <gasps> you don't know anything. I'm sure Roger knows everything you do. Even you'll disappear one day. It's going to happen. Because when I stop imagining you, you'll disappear forever. Well then, don't ever stop imagining him! I know I thought part of their pact was never to disappear. That ghost girl attacked me! Right now, I could be kidnapped! Are you listening? Oh. Oh. Don't throw a shark at me. Listen, she's very stressed out because she doesn't want to lose you. And because she misses her dad. And because her mom didn't. Understand. Oh, this is in the UK. Why? What did you see? Plug socket. <laughs> I was wondering. Oh, she's having the green lager. Did that have a wee musk ox on it? What's that? The 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 cow thing. <laughs> That's the thing, animals always make situations better. It does, yeah. It's like, oh, I'm feeling low, but then I have a fat cat here. 
What am I doing? <laughs> Try to learn bookkeeping? That's the problem. If she's about to lose everything and then you've got your kid having issues and... I was close to being kidnapped by the black-haired creepy girl. <gasps> <laughs> oh, who's that? Oh, robot thing! It looks so sad! Hey, buddy. Wally! Excuse me. Well. Um, you can see me? Mm, I can. But only faintly. Oh no, he's disappearing. And why is that? Well, it seems that my friend can't see me anymore. No! It's so sad! My doesn't need me any longer. <gasps> Aww. Oh, but where did they go? Are you scared? Oh. <sighs> yeah, I've never disappeared, still. I'm afraid of it. I told you this movie would make me cry. Oh, creepy cat. <clears throat> Look how see-through he became. He's going. Hmm. But where is he going? Amanda, I'm really sorry. I behaved badly yesterday. Fine. <laughs> Tomorrow, maybe oh. we can go swimming. That sound good? I like swimming. Or we can go stay with Granny Downbeat. You can bake biscuits together, maybe garden. And of course, Roger should come along too. Well, okay. I thought you didn't believe in Roger. The creepy girl that tried to kidnap him. I mean, she never said she didn't believe in Roger. Mm -hmm. If she believes in Rod Roger, she has to believe in the creepy girl. Yes! I was like, I wonder if she'll drive through it. <laughs> I got all the other cars are on the other side as well. Did you lock the car? I'm not going to disappear. What are you so upset about? Never disappear. Protect each other and never cry. Never cry. A promise is a promise, right? Right, yeah, this promise. is a car park, mm. not the attic. So? See, I'm not disappearing. Roger, please, it's not safe. We're apart and I've not disappeared. <clears throat> a new discovery. Good lad, Roger. All right, I get it. Just come back. Uh -oh. Whoa, did, okay, did, did you close the car at least? <laughs> Roger! Oh. Uh oh. That's what the darkness was. Yeah, it's the creepy guy again. Creepy sniffleuf. I'm so sorry to have surprised you. <sighs> Don't worry, I'm not here for you, little girl. He's here for the boy! Unluckily for you, the line at the pay station is really quite long. It looks like it will take some time. Uh oh. Okay, well, you Roger. run. Yeah, you run with her. No! Go kick him in the nuts. An imaginary of this quality. It's been so long. Uh, a sweet aroma. Oh, I eat him. Why? Amanda, go back. Kick him in the butt. Oh no! Oh. I was gonna take you a little SpongeBob. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. I wonder what that looks like to everyone else. Is she just attacking a man with a back? I mean, see if a child starts attacking a creepy looking old man. Oh my god, she's oh, mad at the <laughs> uh, Yeah, if a child starts attacking a creepy old man in a car park. Whoa, stop, 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 stop. Then yeah, she's probably in the right. Uh-oh. Oh, got clarted. <gasps> Her leg! That was a zebra crossing. You're supposed to give way to pedestrians. Yeah, why are you driving so fast at a zebra crossing? Oh my god. Oh no, let him in! Oh no! <gasps> this is why you never leave your child unattended. 
I know, but weird, but weird energy. Right? Just leaving your kid at the. See, I would be like, oh, this must be like the eighties or something. But the buses are new buses. Mm-hmm. Although it was an American school bus. Did you not have American school buses? I had one. Yeah, we'll see. Oh no, it's fading! You need to find Amanda. I don't know why he didn't just jump in. Well, maybe he couldn't. I can see you. I know <gasps> what you are and I know Finn many Finn. of your kind. <laughs> I also understand what it is you're going through. Why, you're a cat! It's a magic cat. N no, I haven't been forgotten. There was an accident. Amanda was hit by a car, and then... It is the same thing. Maybe she's dead. I am afraid you are starting to disappear. <laughs> well, she'll wake up and it'll be fine. You'll see. Come with me, young man. Amanda. Amanda is dead, isn't she? That's why you're here. <laughs> I hope not. I mean, maybe he was going <clears throat> for the robot and that's why he was out that night. Hmm. I will say it again, you do not have much time left. You can choose to stay here and disappear, or you can come with me. Follow the key. I need to get to Amanda. The choice is yours, young man. Follow the cat, there's no point just sticking around. I don't want to disappear. Oh, I don't want you to disappear either. I hope Amanda's not dead. Where are we going? Some place you'll be safe. There is no need to worry. So, uh, where would that be? Our journey will lead us to the right door at the right place. Oh, you like talking in riddles, K-Cat. <laughs> you ask far too many questions. Sorry. And you don't answer any of them. Yeah, he's a politician cat. Perhaps that is why she imagined you, young man. Because you were the answer. Oh. Answer? To all her problems. You have fulfilled your role as an imaginary. Focus oh. only on what is right in front of you. Uh, but it's not fair when the good things come to an end. To a new life. An imagination land. It is time to forget those who have forgotten you. Oh, but what if it doesn't want to? Susan? There are still more of you out there for me to find. I hope you enjoy your new life. This is where you belong. He's an evil kitty cat, a hundred percent. Doesn't uh, mean he's evil. No, he's evil. He is evil. Maybe this is just his imaginary storage locker. But now we need to get him back. He doesn't belong here. Maybe he's just in storage just now. Maybe when Amanda gets gets up, she'll be able to imagine him again. Uh, excuse me. Zinzan brought me here, and I think I. Oh! <laughs> Hello? It's a hungry hippo. Why are you talking to her? Uh, she's a real person. She can't see or hear you. Uh, uh, oh. But I thought we went to like some imaginary place. No, Why is a real person here? <clears throat> it's concert time! <laughs> okay. Some of these things are total nightmare fuel. Oh, look at the caterpillar! So cute! How is it nightmare fuel? Look how cute Some it of them is. are. Point one out to me. That thing. No, look at his legs. Look at, yeah, look at the legs. These are the imaginary friends left behind. It's interesting that the imaginaries are all pulled in a big library. Why? It's like a place of imagination, isn't it, I don't know. With all the books. Woo! Everyone! Everyone having fun? So she am a man an imaginary. And how are all you people doing? <laughs> <laughs> And the day after that? Sunday! 
And what kind of days are those? The weekend! What makes them special? Yeah. Yeah. We all work hard while playing a lot, and afterwards we all share what we got! <laughs> I'm so confused. So we're sharing each other's imaginary friends? She's like, I'm coming for you! <laughs> oh. oh, I just got a flying squirrel suit. That's one way to avoid taking stairs. Yeah. And we all know how much you hate stairs. Who are you? <laughs> You're new <here. laughs> I am. And how did you hear about this place? I <laughs> this one. Rudge, what color were the eyes? Rudge? What color were they? Uh, uh, Blue! And red. What color were Zin Zan's eyes? Oh. oh God. Blue and red. And the <sighs> left one was red. Hmm. You're in. <laughs> oh, thank God. I thought I was doomed. Wait, in what? The library! <laughs> Why do people make libraries look so dour? This little guy's cruncher of bones, and he says hello. <laughs> Yay, sweeties! You two would get on yes. swimmingly. Yes, everyone here is an imaginary. Is that a fridge? But then the kids grow up and lose interest in us, and we are forgotten. Oh, it's, a, it's Twitter. Well, news flash. <gasps> it's time to turn that. There's a little robot. Down. And he's got a doggy! <laughs> Zin Zan brings friends like you to this library. Most books are made from imagination, right? <laughs> well, Rudge, so that's why he was hanging about. Maybe he's not a dangerous well, kitty cat. Is for humans. And this library is full of it. See, I called it. That's Lady QV. She's an imaginary of a famous artist. Indeed, young Picasso told me he would draw me someday. I just adore him. Oh. He and his deaf friend, a famous composer, Aww. created many beautiful musical works. <laughs> oh, that is adorable. Da 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 da. And that shaky old man is legendary. He is one of the most inspiring and respected imaginaries in history. <laughs> To be or not to be. <laughs> oh, shit, please. So we are made from children's imaginations, and we are their best friends. We make humans and their world more beautiful. There's oh. yours, there's yours. Ah, ah. Isn't that wonderful? It's Nelson. Yeah, why do the lights go out sometimes? Because the library. They have to shut the library. Oh, I thought most libraries just stay open. Well, like 24 hour, like Tesco. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been to a library before in your life? I have, yes, a long time ago. <laughs> See, it's gonna become a disco! Yeah, what do you think? The fridge is her fridge. Her mum. No, she did say it was a dog called Fridge. Ah, uh, there was a dog there on the robot. Oh, and it turns into a big city for them to all live. That's so adorable. But I still don't understand why he's even there. Because it's the only place that has nascent imagination that he can use to stay alive. Ah! Whew. You know, I don't like this guy. When a real person dies, their imaginary disappears. How sad. I really come across something that wonderful. A matcha latte and the... Uh, what do you mean she died? There's no way she died. No way. However, I do want a matcha latte. We deserve to eat something especially delicious. And particularly fresh. Notice how he's talking to his chair. Mm -hmm. My exquisitely sensitive nose will find it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. This is in the search for another imaginary. I think he's gonna find a library. Well, I hope he doesn't. 
Is that fridge? Well, it could be. Cause it's an old doggy. And it's the size of a fridge. <laughs> the fire isn't imaginary. Oh no, it was it was Emily. Em what what was her name? Hannah. Amanda. Amanda. I'm really bad to her names. This dreamy town that we're in is made of the imagination in the books. It'll be a different town tomorrow and different the day after that. It's a different town every day. It's like Venice. We were there. Mm -hmm. Imagine Venice though being like a library. Oh, that'd be crazy. You know, we can't just create all of these places by ourselves. It's the real people who create things with their imaginations. Oh, it's totally fridge. No. Oh. Like he's even blind. That yummy sandwich you're eating and the marshmallows we're sharing both came from working with kids' imaginations. <laughs> There's a hungry, hungry apple. Today, my friend was, well, this guy bunting. Bunting! <laughs> uh oh. Hey, oh, we know that name. <laughs> uh oh. Raj, did you just say bunting? Yes, I did. Yeah, he sniffed me and everything. Try to eat my soul. Bunting, Mr. Bunting. Oh my gosh. He is most unpleasant. Oh my god, there's a lot of samurai eggs. Except Mr. Bunting did not want to say goodbye to his imaginary. Even as an adult, he wanted the power of imagination. So one day, he ate someone else's imaginary. Oh, and that's how he keeps his own imaginary alive. And that's why he needs the best ones mm -hmm. to keep her alive. But does it keep him alive as well? Says it lived forever. Yeah. Everyone, calm down. It's okay. This is the library. We're safe here in the town of Imaginaries. Everything's fine. Why? Why are you safe in the library? Everybody here knows about Mr. Bunting, but he's just a myth. It's only a story. What? You don't have to lie and say you've actually met him. He doesn't exist. No one has ever met Mr. Bunting. How would he know the new guy in the library? How would, How would he, he know? know? Like, he's not lying. Rudge, I'm so sorry, but I have to tell you. Bunting's not real. I'm telling the truth, Emily. It's definitely real. I understand that you're worried about your friend. It's sad and I can see how it's been hard for you, but that's- What, what are you? I don't even know you, to be honest. You can be covering for him. Oh that's like Harry Potter, they just don't believe him. Nah. You are not going to- That does look like some Mark Square though in mm -hmm. Venice. She's already forgotten you, Rudge, and that can't be undone. No, we made a promise together. Never yeah. Forget me. If you're so promise to never disappear. You, then why hasn't she called? Cause she's in a coma. No, oh, that's not it. Rudge's friend died. No, she didn't. You got the colors reversed. Zinzan's right eye is red and the left one is blue. What you think you see isn't always what it seems. What does that mean? It's about that time. Let's clean up and go to bed. So, what do you mean? Like, that he got it wrong? He saw it wrong? You know something. Fridge knows. Yeah, I, I don't understand. Did he get the other color wrong from who we seen, though? I can't remember, and it focused so heavily on the eyes when the doors closed, and I can't remember. Is this the answer? Is this Amanda's answer? Saying farewell is something we all experience. It's 100% Venice. I was just there. <laughs> like, this is Venice. At the end of each day, he would always beg me to stay awake, to be near and on the lookout. So I did. Oh. I watched over him always, night and day, until ultimately I was forgotten. That is why I do not sleep. I was not imagined that way. Oh. Imaginaries are all born for a reason. Raj was born because she lost her dad. And that's why she never wants him to disappear. I do not cry ever. Because that is how my Amanda imagined me. Oh. But you also don't disappear. That's why it's so confusing. And I hate that it's not telling us what happened to her. I oh, know. It's morning. Time to get up. Come on, Emily is waiting. Oh great, I'm back in the library again. Oh no. I wanna go back to the other place. You're late. If you're late, the good jobs will get taken. Let's go. 
Good morning, Emily. What jobs is it? Baby story time? <laughs> the first thing you have to do is focus on the bulletin board. Oh, I can get the, the missing dog. Um, this is our job. Raj, look. Really look. He's totally getting the baby story time. The agency. <laughs> Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. I see photographs. These must be the kids that are coming in. All you have to do is choose a photo of one of the kids that feels most right for you. Choosing your friend is very Shit, important. Shit, Jess. Imagines delicious things. Definitely not fight or G. No, 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 go away. Fudge, you don't think, you just feel. Huh? John. Captain John. It's John. Get him, get him, get John! Wonder who the duck's gonna get. <laughs> it's so cute though that they get to play with someone. Brunch! A photograph is like a train ticket. Once you grab it, you absolutely cannot lose it. Yes! Yes! Good job, Brunch! Oh, there he goes! Oh, they're all going. This kid's getting four of them. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Well, at least he's never oh. going to be bored here. I want to be a spaceman. I don't want to be a spaceman. <laughs> I was just thinking about the companies that are currently doing space exploration and I would not want to be a spaceman. It's our mission to collect rare artifacts. You must return with it soon. Oh. I mean, Amanda never did anything as cool as this. What do you mean? She was Santa or something. Return immediately. The enemy approaches. Uh oh. Oh no. I wasn't trained for this! Oh no, this doesn't look fun, Roger. <laughs> I love that the space shuttle is made of cardboard. <laughs> How cool is that? Like, yeah, everything. you can see like the detail on it. Battle stations, prepare to strike back! Right away, Captain! <laughs> that poor hippo. Raj, this kid is just playing in his imagination, but we risk our lives if we aren't careful. If we die in an imaginary world, we disappear. No one told me this. Have you seen Cruncher of Bones? Uh oh. He wasn't with me. Where on earth could he Was he holding on? Was he with us? Uh huh. Maybe Cruncher of Bones is a bad guy. No, definitely not. <gasps> Superhero wobbles. What? Oh. He's coming. Oh, here he comes. It's like a panda. Da, da, da. Da. <laughs> it's a oh panda. <laughs> no, stop. <Hey! laughs> it's Crunch of Bones. Go, Cruncher. Oh, this oh, is so like one funny. Punch Oh my god. What? Yeah! You guys didn't stand a chance. <laughs> you got him. Hey, wobble, wobble. That's adorable. <laughs> Turn around, he's like, yeah! <laughs> Superman got nothing on Crunchy. Oh, that's it. Like, Imagine and the other, it. the other guys, no? Unseen. <laughs> there are wild things everywhere. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. You can't let go of it, it's your train ticket! Oh, 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 we're gonna get stuck here! Uh -oh. Wait, this is... Oh, this no. is not the library. I told you, that photo was our ticket home. We were only one day imaginaries. Oh great, now we're stuck with a kid. Mm-hmm. Oh no, it's closed. <sighs> what can we Surely Zimzam can help you open. get back. Maybe he doesn't want to though, cause I mean, you didn't even do your job. 
I'm sorry, everyone. Rude. Don't worry about it. It's your first time, Raj. Snowflake's right. Well, I guess that's that then. You almost killed us, but don't worry about it. Okay, everyone. Let's get back before we all disappear. They're only happy because they found a way out. Yeah. Oh, crunch. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. No, you gotta let go. Crunch isn't yours. Guys. Crunch, crunch, crunch. <gasps> crunch. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. What is it? <gasps> Wobbles, let's play together again tomorrow. No. Oh. It's got another day. <laughs> oh, no. Crunch has changed into Wobbles. Look at that. Oh, he's wow. turned into Wobbles. <laughs> wobbles. Oh, he's so happy. Oh. Yes. I got a new kid. Oh. I'm so happy for you. Wobble, wobble. Oh. There's a chance for another life. Roger doesn't want another life, though he wants his old life. Cruncher of Bones isn't a one-day friend anymore, but an everyday friend. Yay. Today's a day for everyone to celebrate. With your very own space meal. Yeah. Uh. You never forget someone like Amanda. Mm. Everything comes to life as soon as she walks in. The floor lamp, it turns into a tropical tree. We don't want to forget Amanda. Yeah. I... I want her to be alive. I don't even need to see her, as long as she's alive. I want her to be alive too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you'll find another friend as great as Amanda. I'm sure of it. Doesn't want another friend. I know, it's like when you break up with someone and it's like, there's plenty of people out there. It's like, no! Oh, really? When you break up, you moron. It's been a while oh, really? Since I've seen the real sky, and it's all thanks to you, Reg. But you nearly did get trapped. Though. Yeah, you nearly, you nearly died. So, don't give him too much credit. Just the right door, just the right place. <laughs> They're gonna encounter Mr. Mr. Grumpy Nose. Mr. Big Nose. Uh are you okay? What's wrong? It's a distraction. The phone's ringing. Oh no, it's not. It's his freaking thing. Let's go back. <gasps> you stay away from Wobble. Listen, if we are eaten, what happens to our human friends then? I don't know. Maybe their spirits die because of the huge hole in their heart. What? Jesus, this got dark. Wait, Raj, tell me Then we can't let him go anywhere near Crunchy! The boss! I want the boss is here! Oh, for goodness sakes. No, go back! Oh, Raj. Come on, you gotta go back for Raj. Ah, yes, this is it. This is the aroma. Mmm, mm, that wonderful scent. Oh, it's him. It's Roger that he's chasing down still. Might I ask how you survived? Does this mean that the girl survived as well? <laughs> Screw you, Bunting. Your aroma has changed, Roger. Quiet, Bunting. All of this is your fault. It's a lie. She won't be gone. There's no way. The little girl was in that accident because she was scared and ran away. Isn't that right? Oh, no, it's not right. putting the blame on him. Everybody sees what they want to see. You were going to kill her soul. If they cannot see it, then they really did not want to see it. Understand? No. Also, that girl said that he's not real, but surely she's just seen him. No one can see you and no one can hear you. Because no one wants to see you and no one wants to hear you. I want to see him. Do you still want to be here in this world where no one will ever see your tears or hear you cry? He can't cry. No. Oh, get on the bus! Get on the bus! The bus is going to hit the old man. Listen to me! I do not ever cry! Huh? No! Yeah, that's what you get. You saw him, right? There you go, he's right there! He's real! <laughs> See if there was someone outside my house at night just laughing like that, I would go out and just kick his head on. <laughs> like, yo! Look at the roundabout! It's so funny seeing like UK stuff. Thank you, Please call me anytime. Oh. Oh. Okay, she was upset, but the mum's not upset. Go, 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 oh, go, go, yes, nice one, nailed it, nailed it. Lucky of all the places that you fell today, it was here. Mum, wait. Uh. 
He's not disappearing though. Lizzie, darling, why don't you get some rest? I'm fine. Like Annie's, eh? Is there no way you could stay at the hospital with Amanda? Oh. Make sure you give her lots of hugs when she wakes up. Oh. Amanda, she came running towards me. When she saw me, she looked like she wanted to tell me something. Please, you really shouldn't blame yourself. It was bunting. Are you okay? I'm very sorry, Mum. I should pack what I need to bring to the hospital tomorrow. You would blame yourself, though, from leaving her at the car and just every step. I mean, she shouldn't have done that. No, either. she shouldn't have done that. So you get to live in these wee villages, you think you're fine? Oh, you get these boy racers charging through the car parks. <laughs> Can hear them outside just now. I can imagine how hard that would be. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, I'm certainly not Roger. <laughs> oh. oh. You know what's funny? She says Roger, don't open it, but she obviously means like herself, her yeah. grief is in that box. She left that bloody umbrella in there again. <laughs> Can't even be mad this time. <gasps> oh. Oh my God, that's heartbreaking. I told you, the three promises. Yeah. Never disappear, protect each other and never cry. She was drinking beer late at night and crying. Yep, green lager. But don't worry about her. I'll protect her. Me, I'm lonely, but I'm not crying. Well, stop oh. making me cry, because I oh, can't no. stop crying. And now and then, maybe sometimes, you could Come and visit. write me a letter. Oh. <laughs> Why did you have to die, Dad? I told you it was going to be a cutting onions. Yeah. You don't realise what situations do to kids, you know? I just think it's such a beautiful way that they're telling that story. Never yeah. forget Dad. Protect Mum. And Susie failing to never cry. <laughs> and never cry. I think it's interesting that the imaginary friends go to a library as well. Yeah. And then one day Roger That's appeared. That's the day I was born. Honey. <laughs> I'm like, I just want her to see Roger oh, so no. bad. That would kill me seeing that. <laughs> oh no, oh. go away, ruining this moment. Come on now. Cause she left the window open. You have the strong spice of sadness. An extremely strong spice indeed. <laughs> That makes it even more apparent that you deserve to be eaten by me. Oh, lovely. That's cool. Thanks very much. I love being spicy. Disappear as well. No, I don't think so. Think about it, Roger. Don't listen to what he's saying. Oh, she's coming. Stupid moving. <laughs> Stupid tears and burn. <laughs> you can find him. Your kind always disappear. There's no difference Not between Roger. that and being eaten by me here, is there? Just yeah. punch her in the face! The difference is that the, the children have worked through whatever... Nice. Whatever they, they had the imaginary for. Come back! Emily, that's bonding! I know! 
Unfortunately, she knows and she believes. Well, I can imagine that Emily was one that he's tried to eat before. Oh, you think she was uh, calling it bluff mm. around everyone else? Amanda's alive! She's alive in the hospital! Let's get out of here first! You need to get to Amanda and see if you can make her wake up. Where's Snowflake? At the library, worry. <laughs> Emily, Snowflake wants you to come home! I will. Oh, poor Snowflake. She's too busy. She's she's trying to do something. Okay, I was mean about the cat. I'm sorry. The cat's is this, cool. Is this it? It should be. Where is it? Where's the door? Uh oh. Oh no, kitty cat. Bunting's there. From where I stand, the sun is shining all over the place. <laughs> this guy is the perfect creep. Oh my god, I, I can't. It's so funny because when you actually look at him, he just looks like a dorky old guy. Yeah. Zin -zin. Come on, Kitty! Find the door! Imagine is about to disappear. Give off the most superb aroma indeed. He's not gonna disappear. Mr. Roger, please allow me to teach you something very important before I eat you. Oh, lovely. I'm listening. You all were imagined. Whereas... I am the opposite. You were unimagined? I am the one who imagines. What? He's got a vivid imagination because he's been eating all the imaginations. I have witnessed times and places you cannot know, and I have seen countless things and untold imaginations in every type of place. Congratulations, it's not done you much good. Listen, Raj. I have to tell you something. <gasps> She's his imaginary? No, because the creepy girl's his imaginary. My friend was sick and in the hospital since the day she was born. I wasn't forgotten at oh. all, Rudge. The truth is, my friend died before she ever had the chance to even grow up. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Got a kick her ass! This girl needs a good slap! You can still see Amanda! <laughs> We're not leaving you behind! Do you have a kitty? Where is it? To find it. Look everywhere! Go! Use your imagination, Roger! <laughs> well, at least this guy doesn't run. Because that would really creep me out. If only Amanda had imagined him able to walk through walls and doors, Amanda. I know! Like he wanted to. Like, how is he supposed to win when this guy can just imagine all around? I'm sweet. Jesus. There's a Batman's born. It's pointless to hope. You all, in the end, are going to disappear alone. There it is. There's the door. But do you go through by yourself, or do you try and get everyone through? Try well, and get everyone. I don't think he wants them. But his imaginary could still hurt them. Well, Roger. Zinzan. Well done, young man. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Even this is nothing but imagination. Oh no. Uh oh. Bang. Oh! Oh no! Emily. No, she's just. I mean, doesn't You cannot change a thing. That's also imaginary, though. That didn't happen. Goggles I gave you, they were imagined by my, by my real friend. Oh no! Emily, wake up. Emily. Oh, I should go wake up. Tell Amanda, I, I say hello. I will. Oh. There is something that imagination can never defeat, and that is Emily. reality. Emily! Jesus. <laughs> oh, Snowflake. Oh, it's right! Oh, no. Snowflake, Emily's gone. Emily's disappeared because of me. She's disappeared because of me. It wasn't because of you. Oh, wait. Emily? Who is that? Oh. Oh, Emily must be Roger's new friend! 
I wonder if she'll be Snowflake's new friend too. What? Young man, who is it that you are talking about? You were there! <laughs> was one of us eaten by that bunting? That was how everyone thought. <sighs> what is it? Are you all right, young man? No, I'm not okay. These are not my goggles. What's wrong? Badminton. <laughs> When you disappear, you get erased from absolutely everything, and life just goes on. Fridge. She was a nice girl, huh? happy and. Fridge. Elizabeth Downbeat. She's my friend, my Lizzie. Oh. Lizzie. Lizzie is my friend's mum. Oh. And tell me, is she happy? Is she all grown up now and happy in her life? Uh, I think so. I don't think she's very happy just now. She works really hard, but then after that, she's fun. She takes us to the park and to the pool. Oh, look at his wee tail wagon. My name is Fridge. She gave <laughs> me the name Fridge. Amanda's mum does have this big box in the kitchen. She named it after you. <laughs> she calls out your name every day. Oh. My dearest friend. Oh, that's so sad. You know, sometimes it doesn't matter if it's true or not. In life, it's worth believing what one wishes to believe, Raj. Oh. All that matters is the story you believe. I told you all along that was Fridgy. Yes, that's what matters. Thank you. Thank you, Fridge. We love you, Fridge. I gotta say, I wouldn't want to be playing with any new kids today. No. <laughs> like, I get the day off. Bunting is going to smell you and hunt you down. You will be eaten by him before you even get there. We'll see. Even if she were still alive. She is still alive. And it is for that reason you began to disappear. Even if you were to find her, it would not help. That is just the way it is, I am afraid. No, Amanda can imagine a scenario where he disappears. But the time Amanda and I spent together is real. Even if the whole world doesn't believe it is real. Oh. I still do. I'm happy that I've been Amanda's friend. It's better to have loved than have lost and never loved at all. I want to tell her to wake up and fight for her life. I want to tell her that no matter what, I'm always on her side. I have to, before I disappear. You can't abandon her, she's your person. <gasps> Julia. Julia! Oh my god, that's the friend! <sighs> grab it, grab it now! Our struggle for all of those not seen. Oh. Young man! Uh oh. Fine, we all go together. We make it an adventure. No, no. What's wrong with you? Oh, come on. You just aren't getting it. Today is the recital and you're- Oh my god. <laughs> Amanda's friend? That's nonsense. You are my Aurora. Now listen to me. You're going to fascinate every single person in the audience today. But they won't be able to see him. <laughs> I don't have time. This is really important. Huh? I Aww. have to ask you. This is so weird. What's happening? Julia chose Raj as her everyday true imaginary. What are we gonna do? What are uh -oh. we gonna do? We are in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet! Now, next up, Aurora, is the awakening par de deux. <gasps> oh no, Roger! You turn into a little girl! Always beautiful, though. Young man, let go of the photograph! Yeah, let go of the ticket! Well done, Zim Zam. Yeah, she didn't turn out to be what you need. Raj, you're going, right? You're going to see Amanda, remember? Amanda? Who is Amanda? Oh, no! Amanda? <gasps> Amanda! Come on, Roger! Have you forgotten? Keep pushing, keep pushing! 
You're not a prima ballerina. Oh, will be joining us later. Oh, that was a fancy house. He forgets my birthday, but he remembers my ballet recital. Ah, oh, goddammit! This way. Just smash through the window. Cut oh, flat. flat. That'll do for him. Hurry, right. Hurry. Come on, young man. <laughs> Come on, young man. <laughs> In a tutu. I'm counting on you, Snowflake. Push, Snowflake! Uh -oh. But Snowflake's gonna get stuck. Let us go, young man. Go, Roger! Surely you want to see Amanda, do you not? Amanda, the hospital! Oh, Abe! Oh, sorry, you Snowflake. You can do it! You can do it! You look like a bum! <laughs> Snowflake left behind. But maybe Snowflake can turn into the prima ballerina. I don't think Snowflake wants that. Well, it'd be like Fantasia, where the, the, the hippo is dancing. Sit down. Feeling brave? Watch me. Yeah! <laughs> oh, there you go. Did you hear that noise? Hmm? Noise? What noise, honey? <laughs> Hospital! You really mustn't surprise me like that. <laughs> Julia! Take me to Amanda! Please! She needs to go to the hospital! To Amanda! Dad's going to the hospital! Ambulance! Hospital! I don't know if you can run after it, but it's not going that quickly. I'm gonna chase it. Well, young man, good luck to you. Oh, Zim Zam. Thank you. Amanda! They're going to try and save Snowflake. That revolving door is useful. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh no. He's at the front desk. I am Mr. Bunting. No one cares, mate. He's trying to see Amanda. Mr. Bunting. Yes? I'm asking your relationship to the patient. I know, good luck. Imagine going to a hospital and being like, I need to see this young child. <gasps> oh, Robo oh, and the doggy as well. That way. She's that way. Aw. No. no. I will watch over you. Oh, oh, oh. thank God. Oh, I just remembered. It's today. We have a ballet concert. Oh, God's sakes. Thank goodness. <sighs> Thank God that dad's an idiot. Yeah. Her readings are stable. Thank you very much. Roger! Go, 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 go! Get in, get in, get in! <sighs> ah! Damn it, you didn't make me able to go through doors! I'm going to get some cocoa. What's cocoa? I really want a hot chocolate now. I can go hot chocolate. We'll do, we'll do hot chocolate after the schnoovie. Oh. Amanda! Amanda's gonna be so surprised when she sees you in a ballerina get up. She's been out for days, huh? Mm -hmm. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. There's a little tree. I know you're alive. Your imagination must be alive. Oh. I'm back, Amanda. I'm back. And I look fabulous. Uh oh. Please wake up. No, go away. Just stop being so evil. He imagined his friend really cool. Never disappear. Protect each other. And never, never ever cry. cry. No more running away. Uh oh. Oh my god, this guy's a creep. Amanda! Huh? You have to wake up! Oh. And what do we have here? She's not gonna suddenly wake up! Mm -hmm. I knew you would be here, Roger. I am happy to see you again. The mum's on his way back. Up. She's on her way back. Oh, come on, Amanda! <gasps> my dear, you have awoken. Are you. are you my doctor? Uh, no. Uh, 
Now, would you please calm down over there? I'm the creepy imaginary eating man. And your expiration date is today, Roger. That just does not fool me. <laughs> Come on, man, How can you even be in her room right now? She does not remember you. Whoops, Daisy. It is truly sad. Is it not, Roger? She'll know the name. It will come back to her. I better. <laughs> Never disappear. Roger? Come on, girl, think! <laughs> yes! yes! Come on! And why? Why are you fighting? She can see him. I'm feeling rather hungry. Rather hungry indeed. Oh my god, where's the mom? <gasps> oh. Oh. No. Huh? Her imagination is stronger than yours. His name is not Roger. That's right. It's me. His name is Roger. It's Roger. See, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Amanda. Use that imagination, girl. Yeah, I get attacked by cranes. Roger, oh my god. Amanda. Girl, you shouldn't be out. Oh my gosh. Yeah, dry old man. <laughs> you creepy old man. Just as I thought, your Roger is indeed worth a hunt. Go <laughs> uh, <laughs> fishies. Yeah, imagine a shark. Ready. Hold on tight. Hold it on. I just can't. Oh. The tears are just, oh man. There you go. Now what you gotta do, old man? Interesting development. Didn't expect that. Yeah, but you're in her imagination, okay? Ponyo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the little freaking boat from Ponyo. Amanda, this boat. Do you think this boat can fly? Actually, it doesn't! Uh oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> Say goodbye, Mr. Cream! <laughs> That's so adorable. <laughs> oh, it's her brawly. That's not the mummy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> gosh, you are just so creepy. You, you haven't come this far. Amanda. Amanda. Why would you get two hot chocolates? You're a doctor, aren't you? Please do something. I'm sorry to shuffle up. I'm actually taking a survey of children here today. Oh my god, please Could just... you imagine? I'd knock him out. You're the man who came to the bookshop the other day. You remember me. That is such an honor. You are clearly stalking my child. Amanda, thank goodness you're awake. Don't believe him. You mustn't believe I'll him. I'll get you a doctor right away. Oh. Hello? Oh my god. He's trying to swallow Roger. <laughs> Little girl, I am certainly not trying to swallow him. I'm trying to eat him. You? What are you? You and the girl will not be hurt unless you interfere. interfere. Oh my god, get out of here, you freak! She's sticking on them. She can help me. Amanda, oh. tell her about the fridge. Here you come. Yes, tell her about fridge. Did you say fridge? A dog. A, a dog named Fridge. Call Fridge! Fridge. Roger. Oh. Mum, you have to call Fridge. She's like, how would you know about Fridge? Uh, uh, a snake! And you know who helped you with a snake last time? 
who sees it all now. I welcome you to the world of the imaginaries. Aww. Oh, jeez, you got Jeff. Oh bless her, I'll fight the snake for you. Oh. Uh, Mom! There he is. Oh my god, this is such a mess. This is such a mess. Don't take him! You've got to protect Roger. Oh. He knows he's being summoned, he knows. Oh. You've got a job to do, Fridge. <sighs> oh, come on, hurry up. He's our friend. We will not let you have our here he comes! Here he comes! Oh. Oh, that's how she lost him. And there was the snake. Oh. Oh, that's how she found Fridge. Oh. <laughs> To defeat the snake. Oh. But, okay, thank God. I was like, what about Roger? It's not just one imaginary. Happen with a chair. Get him, Roger! Stop him! Oh my god, Fridge! Fridge, grab him! Not that you eat. Oh! Oh, she's had enough! She chose! She chose to go in! You need to live your life in reality. It's like it's not fresh. <laughs> But almost rotten. Oh. But I have finally done it. I ate an exceptional imaginary. Yes, it is this I sought. When are you ever going to give up? Ain't nobody want to play with him. Mm -mm. Rip it up. Oh! That's right, because he's ancient! Yep. Bye-bye, Bunting. Good riddance. For what he did to Emily. Are you alright? Everything is fine. Everything is fine. No, it's not. You're having a psychotic break. You think you can see imaginary people. I'm home, Mum. I'm home. Well, look at that. It's just like you said. No. Oh. Oh, so he face healed. Is everything all right? Uh, it is. My goodness, she woke up. Yeah, where was the doctors the past five minutes? No. Please. But no, she was just about to hug fridge. Oh, thank God. I was like, <laughs> they're gonna be not there. Thank you, Roger. Thank you, and thank you too, my dear oh, fridge. fridge. They disappear not because they've been forgotten, but because their job here is done. Well, I think they should stay. I wasn't alone. Friends at the library helped me. Zinzan and Snowflake. And Emily, too. And that's why you should support your public libraries. Thank you for coming. Three months, 
three weeks and three days ago. Oh. Amanda. I am just an absolute mess right now. Protect each other. And never. And never. Cry. <laughs> Are you ready? Come on, Roger, to our final adventure. Oh. Have you ever seen anything so wonderful? Nope. I have. I'm not. Because okay. I missed the Aurora Borealis because nobody told me it was happening. <laughs> I'm not okay. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. Right. Oh, such a good film. <laughs> I don't even want to know what I look like. <laughs> Enjoy that movie. I didn't survive. No, neither did I. <laughs> but if Roger and Fridge and everyone else, except for Emily, <laughs> did. Oh, God. I told you it'd be a good one. Okay, turn the music down, because that'll just set me off again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was perfect. That was a good movie. That was such a good movie. It's been a while since one of these movies done that. Mm -hmm. We reacted to some absolutely amazing movies, and I feel like we did all of them at once, and we left ourselves not having anything else for a while. And then I feel like that's just come out and I'm, I'm over here just like, yeah, 20 out of 10, shooketh, like every character was perfect. Like, I'm just going to say it. That's what I expected the latest Ghibli movie to do to me. Mm. But Ghibli is very like, not hit and miss, but I feel like the stories that it tells are very different. Whereas that was more like a your name or... Yeah, it was just oh, it was just so beautiful. But yeah. also some of the the characters as well. I fell in love with every single character. I fell in love with the toilet. <laughs> Did you see the toilet? It fell cool. over in one scene, and I was like, oh no, bless you. <laughs> I think the last one that we watched was um, I want to eat your pancreas. Yeah, I think that and was the oh last one. Oh my god, that is that the uh, fireworks scene one? Mm -hmm. Oh god. You guys need to watch that movie. I'm not saying anything about it, but... Uh, that was phenomenal. Oh, and the I, one with the door and the wee chair. Suzume. Uh, Suzume, yeah. yeah. I feel like I just want to go and watch it again and see what little things I spoke over and... That was so good. Like, that's definitely oh, that one. That was cute. They actually got, like, the British police force and the, the NHS to advise on the movie. Oh. To make sure it was right. Oh. And there was a... It looked like there was a police officer that done a voice for the actual police officer. Oh, that's so funny. That was phenomenal. That was so um, good. And funnily enough, with it being based in the UK, I was looking out for like any little things that I was like, mm, that's not quite right. And I didn't the, see anything. No, not really. Apart from like people queuing up to pay at the car park because like it's all mobile now, but Yeah, like, like that. Whatever. Stuff whatever. Like whatever. That it was just like it's such a nothing. But yeah, someone literally like knocking someone down because they're rushing about a car park and completely ignoring that there's a zebra crossing is l like a hundred percent legit. That is something that would happen here. Yeah, because people does. just ignore zebra care. crossings. We have to cross the zebra crossing to get to the pet store, and the amount of times that I'm taking Finny in with me, and people are like, the thing crashing. is, like, like in Europe, zebra crossings are so like treated properly. So if you step onto a zebra crossing, the cars will stop. Over here, Not you here. literally, you have to just look at the driver and hope that they will stop at the zebra crossing and then you cross. Yeah, you have to stand and wait, basically. Yeah. So yeah, that's like 100% legit, like that kid would probably get hit with a car. Yeah, running out like that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction to this movie. Um... Yeah, if you want to watch this movie by yourself, which usually I would say watch it first oh, yeah, or usually. whatever, <laughs> it's on Netflix and uh, Ta -dum. yeah, that was, um, I feel like we're going to be talking about that all night now, like, oh, do you remember this scene and that scene and, or maybe not, maybe we should I'm just, not okay. I, I need to go to my makeup off because my eyes are burning. I'll have a hot chocolate and then make dinner. Yeah, I need a hot chocolate as well. We'll have a oh. hot chocolate for Amanda. Ah, oh, thank no, you. we'll have a hot chocolate for Roger. For Roger. For Roger. And Fridge. And Fridge. Because at the end of the day, Fridge saved the day. And Emily. 
Yeah, we love you, Emily. And the cat. Zet Zet or whatever. Zim Zam. Zim Zim Zam. Zim Zam. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us this evening. And uh, leave some movie recommendations in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.